Good morning, it's rolling at getting it done north of 7. We got a bit of snow this morning. Only about 3 inches, but it's wet snow. And I'm going to show you how I plow my driveway. It's 0.4 of a kilometer long. Part of it is gravel and part of it is pavement. Yesterday I did a video on what's a good snow plow to buy for an ATV. I will leave a link in the description below this video so that you can watch that as well. So let's not waste any more time. Let's head on up and plow that driveway. Okay, we got the first part done. Got the long part of the gravel driveway done now. So I went and moved the cars. Now I'm going to do the paved part of the driveway. The snow is not very deep. Like I said, it's maybe three inches deep, but it's wet. That's why I wanted to clean it up. So we'll get this part done and we'll see you at the end of the, the plowing. There you go, I'm all done snow plowing the driveway now. Um, like I said, there wasn't a lot of snow, maybe three inches of wet snow. But we, like uh, two years ago, I had like a foot of snow at one snowfall. And this plow and ATV went through that like nothing. So if you're wondering if an ATV works good with a snow plow, it really does. And I was a little skeptical of when, before I bought the ATV. 
I didn't know if it would work, especially on a driveway as long as ours, but it did. Let me know in the comments below if uh, you'd ply your driveway with an ATV or side by side and uh, with, a, with a blade on the front. Let me know how it's working for you. I'd like to know. I'm thinking of maybe upgrading to a side by side one day, maybe next winter. Also below, I'll leave a link to the video I did yesterday about what is a good snow plow to use for an ATV. And please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the like button, all that. And we'll see you on the next video.